Hello everybody, in this lesson we're learning how to create 3D rotation tilt menus. Those are animated menus that tilt when your mouse goes over it and when mouse goes out it goes back to normal view. And the buttons inside are accessible, clickable, and they can control movie clips that are on the main timeline next to this movie clip, next to this menu. And uh, we had a forum thread at Develop PHP, and everybody was saying that it'd be so easy to do this in CS3, you don't necessarily need Flash CS4. And I wanted to show how easy it was to do in Flash CS4. That's why I put together this tutorial. And I would like to see somebody code it out to where you can do this in Flash CS3, because it would take a lot more action script and a lot more work. I just wanted to kind of prove my point, and also give you guys a cool free Flash source file that you can download and use for your Flash projects. Okay, let's rock and roll. Here we are in Flash CS4 Professional. We're going to create new Flash Action Script 3 file. And once it pops up, you can adjust your stage properties to whatever you need them, the sizing and everything. I'm just going to leave it default sizing. And the first thing I'm going to do is drag out a rectangle primitive. And about that big. It'll be any size you need. I'm going to give it a little bit of rounded edges there. Let's get rid of that stroke. So it just has a fill. Let's change the fill color to something we like. That will do. Now let's convert that to a symbol. Now let's call it My Menu in the library and let's make sure it's a movie clip symbol press OK now let's give it an instance name of my menu underscore MC alrighty now we'll double click inside of that and we're going to convert the inner symbol to a movie clip let's just name it inner menu inner menu symbol. It's going to be a movie clip symbol. Press OK. We don't have to give it an instance name. Now we're going to double click inside of that one and we're going to create some buttons. There's one. Let's give it the color we want. I'm going to skew it or uh, gradient transform it. I'm going to give it a gradient fill and then transform the gradient around. That looks good. I don't want it rounded, so I'm just going to set these back to zero. Okay. Now, let's give him an edge, too. Now, let's convert that to a symbol. Let's call that button. You can really call it whatever you want. Oh. Let me backtrack on that. Let's convert that to symbol. Make sure it's a button symbol. If you want it to be a movie clip and use it as a button, that's fine. But I just want mine to be button symbols. So in the library, it's named button. It's a button type. Symbol, OK. Now let's give that an instance name of btn1 underscore btn. So that's button 1. Control C, Control Shift V after you highlight it and that will copy and paste it in place then do it again control C control shift V copy and paste in place now let's change those instance names on the second and third buttons to btn2 underscore btn and btn3 underscore btn that way they all have different instance names and we won't get an error now we can code those out uh, before we start some code though we're gonna go double click or just click on the my menu symbol here so you're in that timeline and here is where we're gonna do the tilt animation now this is gonna be a very simple 3d rotation animation so let's name the top layer I just created a couple of layers here by selecting or hitting the new layer button let's call this AS3 let's make that a big A and let's name this layer Labels. 
is where we're going to put our frame labels. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's press F6, make a new keyframe, put in the label name here, we're going to put tilt. Because this is the frame where we're going to want our animation to begin when the menu tilts. And then we'll go to a maybe frame 12. Whatever you whatever speed you want it to tilt, you can set your frame separations and also your frame rate frames per second 65 that's a little high let's go back down to 30 okay so 30 frames per second for our movie right here we're gonna give it a label of normal so we have tilt then normal let's press F5 to extend these keyframes out so here with our symbol on the tilt keyframe we're gonna press F6 on layer 1. Let's name layer 1 menu because that's where the menu resides. So here we'll press F6 and then here we'll press F5 and bring it out a little bit so we can extend the keyframes. Don't press F6 yet. So right here in this keyframe you're gonna create motion tween. Now here you're gonna press F6 it creates a new keyframe there and on this keyframe we're gonna go and press the symbol and click the 3D rotation tool actually let's go ahead and make some keyframes here first for normal and uh, no let's not do that just yet let's go ahead and skew it or tilt it so with the 3D rotation tool selected then you can add the tilt that you want. So let's tilt it just a little bit like that. And now let's press F6 here and then F6 here. So now on this keyframe, the last keyframe, let's grab that 3D rotation and roll it back. So there we go. And Now you see the animation when we drag through there. On tilt this will happen on normal this will happen okay so first we need stop actions before we can leave this timeline but this timeline is just about completely finished here being assembled and let's put a stop action here press F6 STOP and I just added these two stop actions you just saw to make sure that when the person enters it just doesn't go and play the tilt on its own we don't want it to do it until a certain event happens the mouse over so and uh, also we want it to stop at the end of this tilt animation until they remove their mouse from the menu and then it tilts back that's how it works so let's put all the code in to make it happen now and we're gonna start on scene one actually first before we do that on scene one let's go ahead and put a new layer and call it text. And this can be another element that you want the buttons to affect. But for this demonstration I'm just going to put a dynamic text field and name it status. So we can know what button we pressed. That way you guys can do things to other movie clips accordingly when these three buttons are pressed. And the movie clip that you can affect is on the main timeline with this menu. Okay, so status underscore txt Give it a color of black. Dynamic. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Right there. So what will happen is when you press a button after the menu tilts and then you press a button it will give a message to this status text field which will be the equivalent of allowing you to manipulate any movie clip you want and do anything you want to that movie clip an animated movie clip, whatever you have. You want things to fly out from the side of this menu, from the tilt menu. After you press a button, you can do that. Okay, so we're on the main timeline. We have our text. Let's make another layer and just call this AS3. Now let's open our actions panel by pressing F9. Type in some code. Let's make sure we get the name of that movie clip. My menu underscore MC. Now we can connect to that thing in the code. 
my menu underscore MC dot add event listener and this is mouse event dot rollover and the function that we want to name that's going to fire off on rollover is going to be rollover menu let's make it make some good sense Okay, so now we just write that in. Function. Right here we're building the function. That's gonna fire up when the user rolls over the mouse or rolls over the menu with their mouse. And this is colon void open curly brace, close curly brace. This is mouse event. So you put in between the parentheses event colon mouse event okay so the function nest is all set up here now we can put in what we want to happen so we just take this instance name menu underscore mc my menu underscore mc dot go to and play tilt because there's an animation there so we have to instruct go to and play if we just say go to and stop there won't the animation won't occur Make sure these are in between double quotes because it's a frame label. It's a frame label name of tilt that we want to connect to that we made inside of that movie clip. Now, let's just duplicate that whole function and rename a couple of things for the out mechanism when the mouse rolls out. Roll out menu. that function name would be here and this would be normal because that's I think the instance name we gave those let's check tilt and normal yes so that's what's gonna happen on mouse over we go to and play tilt and on mouse out we go inside that movie clip and play normal so let's test that out now press control enter that's pretty cool huh it's a nice animation and the buttons you can see are still active and they can be clicked but we haven't coded those out to affect this text field yet it's sitting on the main timeline okay so here this text field is what we want to affect with these buttons so let's go and dig into those buttons let's dig into the movie clips say we're on scene one we're gonna double click on this then double click on this now we're inside the the uh, inner symbol where that base rectangle shape is and the button sitting on top. Now let's make another layer. Let's call it AS3 so we can code out those buttons now to affect anything we want in our movie at any level. Okay, so let's highlight this Action Script 3 layer. Press F9 and let's code it out. Now we know our buttons are named BTN1 underscore BTN and BTN2 and BTN3 is all the same so we'll just make one function and then we'll copy and paste it two more times keep life easy and this is going to be mouse event dot click so when the button gets clicked we want a certain action to happen we're gonna name it keep it simple click one so now let's create that function that will fire off when the user clicks one of our buttons function click one or when they click that particular button click one this is event colon mouse event <coughs> colon void open curly brace close curly brace and inside we want to instruct the movie clip the parent movie clip the parent timeline so we're gonna claim movie clip parent if we try to affect this timeline there's nothing happening in this timeline so we have to affect the parent timeline with the skew or the tilt is occurring that go to and play oh actually no we're gonna just instruct that text field I forgot 
this has nothing to do with the animation. This is just an example of how you can affect other moving clips in the main timeline that are next to your menu. Say you want things to fly out when they click a button. So here we're going to say dot status underscore txt dot text and let's just print out a message equals and the message can be clicked button one very simple okay let's see if that looks right let's just try it out yep it works okay so now all we have to do take that and duplicate it two times and change this to three change that to a three change this to a three and change this to a three change this to a two change this to a two change this to a two and that to a two now click uh, or hit control enter on your keyboard and you'll see that all three buttons are now activated and they will do certain things that you want and that tilt menu acts accordingly and you can still access the buttons even though they are deep inside of this movie clip symbol as long as you code your stuff out right okay see you next lesson